Hi friends, welcome back to my channel, Testing Mini Bytes. I'm your friend Amun Shaktivel, and in this video, we're gonna see one of the widely used functional interfaces in Java. That's your consumer interface. Again, consumer interface is a is a functional interface that's been inbuilt in Java, right? We don't have to create it on ourselves, right? So if you haven't understood or you know if you are directly watching this videos please do watch the previous videos in this playlist so that you can get a better understanding of what's what i'm speaking now right so again if you, if you haven't watched that you have some basic understanding of functional interfaces and lambda expressions uh you know maybe you can try, you know try watching it uh from this video itself good we're gonna see uh what what this consumer interface has it has an abstract method with the name accept and we it also has a default method called and then and we also see how we can use this uh you know in our day-to-day -day life uh, where we can use uh, for each method you know uh you know to uh, to solve a lot of problems right we'll see about that in detail and it also has a by type called by consumer so this consumer interface is is having a method called accept that accepts only one parameter and doesn't return anything right but this by consumer interface has a method called accept that accepts two parameter and doesn't return anything again we'll also see how we can use this by consumer interface in our test automation framework to log the details to the extent report and console right sometimes we get a requirement that you know we want to log uh the same log in an in extent report as well as the console because if you're running it on jenkins uh if you want to see the log in the console you know, right so uh, jenkins console you need to uh, you know use a sysout statements right so uh, so if you get some strange requirements like this how we can solve that with the help of consumer interface okay right again guys we are not going to reinvent the whole week but you know we're gonna make the our life easy by using uh, lambda expressions right and functional programming so yeah without wasting much time let's head to the eclipse workspace which so first um let's assume i have a list like this okay i have a list that has three strings right so now normally how we will iterate this particular uh, list of strings right so maybe if you are if you are comfortable with using a for loop okay you can you can iterate with multiple ways so one among them is like this right so you iterate through your size of your stuff and here you can use a sysout statement and you can tell this george cage right. right that's it so this is how you can use it or you can use a for each right so basically if you type for and then press this for each right so it, it gives you what what you want to give right temp and this is already a list so i want to iterate this list one by one and i want to create a temporary variable uh, which which is of string type right so i i want to do the same operation using a for 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 each loop this time right and simply i can tell temp that's it so in both the cases i'll get your expected answer right this is how we have been using our uh, you know uh, in our day to day life but from java 8 we have something called as for each loop right so let's let's understand what it is so if we type list and then type dot so if it has a method called for each and this for each method accepts a consumer right consumer interface implementation that's basically your lambda expression that's what i told in the previous video how we can pass a lambda into one method right passing lambda as a method parameters if you haven't watched that video please do watch that so that you can understand what it is now so to do this i need to create a consumer interface right let's let's understand let's press control shift and t and type consumer and you can open this implementation and see what it is so consumer is a functional interface and from 1.8 it has a method called accept that accepts one argument it can be of anything this t can be string it can be integer it can be an array list it can be anything right so and it doesn't return anything so this is a very simple method signature so we want to provide an lambda expression implementation for this and it also has a default method called and then that accepts that also accepts a consumer right so first they are doing a null null check and they are again passing it to this consumer as well so basically um, you know it has two methods we'll try to use them in our code right so first so if you want to provide an implementation for a method signature that has one that accepts one argument and doesn't return you anything you can by now you can you know uh, 
provide the implementation in your mind right so let's say a consumer this time my consumer are you know i am i am sending strings right so i can provide the generic type of string and let's name it as consumer and so imagine the method signature so it accepts one argument and doesn't return you anything so maybe i can do a sys out so basically i need to import this control and one import from java.util.function and yes so what of the string that i am going to get i am going to print it so this is a very simple implementation that's what we have done here so instead of running a for loop like this or this you can basically do list dot for each and if you notice it is telling consumer and then inside the you know the less than greater than symbol it is telling question mark super string again this is called a bounded uh, uh while cards I, i i can explain about it but i don't want to deviate from the original topic so what we can understand for now this question mark can be anything but it has to be a string class or a super class of string class so this question ka, question mark can be string class okay string class or super class of string class string class so as simple as that we don't want to dig deep now maybe i'll cover a separate topic on generics later but if you notice so in our case our list is having a list of string so this is okay to send a list list containing a string values right and now it is telling me pass the consumer so this is a consumer that we created so consumer basically this implementation we are pr- providing the implementation to the method so the, whatever you send i am going to print it so we have passed this let's see whether it is working for that let me remove this thing we don't need this anymore so let's try to run it yes we are getting the same output so but we are using a for each method from from java itself that accepts a consumer again it's not mandatory that you have to pass this reference instead you can pass this as well right you can pass the lambda itself instead of the reference again if it is just a single parameter you don't have to mention the brackets right so let's try to run it now and see what's happening so we are passing a lambda to a method for each is a method we are passing a lambda so see the declaration here so basically this for each internally uses the for each loop that we normally use right so it has a for each we so this is string temp right this is the what we have before right so if i go here if i do a control z so this is so we will we'll delete this we don't need this if you notice string temp list the same way if you, if you go into this see string temp this so so basically it internally uses the for each loop that we normally use but but for us this is more readable and the probability of we may making a mistake here is very very less right so this is a beautiful thing about the functional programming so we are passing the lambda itself so now uh, again you can pass the lambda again i want to provide a different implementation so yes we can do that as well so maybe i i have one more implementation where i have something like this uh, consumer but this time what i am going to do what are the string that i am getting i am not only going to print it okay i am going to do s dot to upper case or lower case right so this can be another implementation so let me name it as consumer 1 and i can also do like this right this time it will not only just print it it will convert to an upper case again guys if you find the video a little slow please change the playback setting to 1.5 or 2 so that you can understand uh, you know it in a little faster way good so this time it printed everything in a capital letter suppose i want to do both the things now and that's when this uh, and then method from your consumer class becomes very handy right so what i'm going to do first i want to just print it and then i want to print it in upper case so basically you can provide two implementation right with with just using one and then method right let's try to see what's happening um run us java application i guys this is what confusing us maybe i'll come on this out okay and if i run this again 
so we have amudin and then amudin shakti veil and then uh, caps and then testing and caps testing so basically this is how it works right again you can also uh, provide a different implementation like two lower case and other stuff but yeah everything going to work the same way right so to understand see this this consumer this and then method you can imagine like this so you have a centralized uh, you know water system okay suppose consider you are living in a uh, big apartments right you have lot of apartments in your building and each of you know all of them get their water from a same tank right so the input going to be same for all these things okay so that's why uh, you know this consumer is also getting amudana's input and uh, your consumer one is also getting amudanas amudanas input so if you want to convert so let's say uh, to understand it better what i am trying to say uh, let's uh, take a example of two lower case as well two lower case as well and here i can also tell consumer dot and then consumer two right so let's try to understand Right. they all get the same input that is amudan shakti veil and then testing so they don't get a different different input that's what i want to say so they get, all get the same input and then other the operations may be varying but they all get the same input right so this is what i am trying to say again guys this may be little unfamiliar to you but believe me this is very very easy again if you are not understanding this and then for now just understand okay you can just pass something like this where you are passing the lambda so so you are passing a lambda to a method and it going to work the same way so if you are understanding this that's absolutely more than fine now let's take a different example from our test automation right amul you are speaking in java language we are very, finding it very difficult to understand how we can work with this so let's try to remove all these things and then we'll, we'll take a very simple code from our um, test automation we will take a use case from our test automation right so let me first launch my uh, right web driver manager i am using web driver manager to launch my chrome and you can use anything uh, chrome driver yeah and then i'll assign it to a local variable let me name it as driver yeah and driver got get let me launch a particular website uh, let's take it as amazon got in and we'll also do driver dot find elements right and by dot xpath so i am using an xpath slash slash a which will pick me all the links from the website so let me create a local variable for this and let me name it as elements right now we have a list of elements previously we have list of string we have list of web element now so let's try to normally if you want to you know print the all the you know text from this how we will use it so we can, you can either run a for each loop or for loop so maybe if i use a for loop in the equal to 0 then we'll say i less than elements dot size and then i plus plus right and then here we'll do sys out and then elements dot get of i and then you need to get the text from it right so let's get the text so this is how we used to print it again this will work absolutely fine i don't want to give a demo about it so instead of doing like this instead of doing like this what i can do we we now have an understanding about consumer okay so basically we can use a consumer interface here right elements dot for each Hey guys, if you notice, this consumer is accepting a web element interface uh, kind of objects, or it can be of super type of web element, right? So basically, we don't we will ignore this bounded while card, and then we'll assume that we are only passing the web element itself, right? So basically, I have a list of web elements, so this will absolutely work fine. So for each. and please pass me the implementation again i don't have to create a local variable now directly i can tell whatever the element that i am passing again guys this e can be anything you can also yes pass yes that doesn't matter so whatever the e that i am passing that what i have to do i have to do is sys out that e dot get text right so this is what i want to do right so this is now very very simple i i iterate it i print it 
so this is as simple as that again if you are feeling a little comfortable maybe i uh, use uh, create a temporary variable that's that shouldn't be a problem okay so what i can tell consumer my consumer is accepting web element right web element and control and one sorry guys there is a spelling mistake put consumer int consumer equal to whatever the element that you are passing again guys you can give some full name as well that doesn't matter okay element what are the element that you are passing i'm going to do sys out element not get text so we can write like this and then we can pass instead of this we can pass consumer here right so let's try to run it and then check what it is doing hey guys if you feel you know video a little slow please change the playback settings right so it's printing me all the values again if you notice it is printing me a lot of blank links as well so if you notice these are all blank links i don't want to print them then what i can do again guys this is a very simple lambda that you know it's a single line lambda we can call it as but this time i want to have a specific implementation where i want to filter out all the blank links okay then how we can do it so let's let's again create another consumer friends let's name it as consumer one and equal to so this is a, again guys this can be element this can be e this can be s yes, this is just a variable name right you can give it anything so for time being okay you can give anything so i am going to write a multi line lambda so my curly braces are very very important so this is this is a consumer it will accept some input okay and now what i am going to do if e dot get text okay dot is blank okay if it is blank i don't want to do something if it is not blank then i want to do something what i want to do i want to do sys out and i want to do e dot get text okay this is what i want to do but this consumer is now a multi line lambda right so writing a multi line lambda is okay guys but when you are trying to use that in a code you know it becomes little clumsy that's what i want to say so here i can just say e and then e i mean this is a single parameter i can remove it okay now this one i can copy it right and then i can paste it here okay i don't need this anymore right i can do like that but if if you are writing a multi line lambda right this is and you can pass it that's not a big deal but it becomes not readable right so that's why let's first check whether it is working okay we'll come to this discussion later but let's see i am passing a consumer one where if it is a blank text it won't you know uh, print it if it is not blank then it will print it maybe i'll also do driver dot put uh because i haven't done that before so i have this already open so i alt shift and x and then you can press a j so that it will run it as a java application so if you notice the output now we don't have a blank links so we started to use lambda in our day to day life guys so please try to you know practice them this may look little complicated or you may think okay why i need this but definitely if you are going to a new project where they are using all these things you will find it very difficult to understand so watch the playlist from the start you should be in a position you know to do all these things so i am i am very very uh, you know confident that you can do all these things with with much ease